I remember it like it was yesterday. My wife and I were standing side by side and we were walking up the steps, kind of two by two, very Noah's Arkish without the Russell Crowe. And we got to the top of the steps and the couple in front of us moved to the side and there he was, John Paul II, my hero. It was a moment that I had, I had prayed for for years, prayed about for years, longed for for years, and it was finally there. And we moved forward and we knelt down and he took us by the hand and it was the most amazing two minutes of my life. Outside of my wedding and my kids being born, highlight of my life. And not long after, he went home to heaven. And I think for all of us in our generation, John Paul II, his effect on us will be, will be going on for decades, will ring true forever. But then I think about this next generation. I think about my own children. I think about the teenagers today, many of whom never knew John Paul. They were, they were babies when he died. Many of whom were coming up an edge would not even remember his name, really, if we did not speak of him around the house. And for those who are going to come after them, who have no concept of what a, a great saint this was in our midst, of what a theological giant this was in our midst. When we began praying about this as a staff, we said, we want to give this gift to the church. So our catechesis team put together two phenomenal nights, one for Edge, one for Life Team, one for middle school, one for high school. They're free. They're available for free download. We really strongly want to encourage you to do these nights on or before or right around, right after the canonization that's going to happen on April 27th. But if you can't do it right then, anytime, just to give your young people the gift of getting to know the Holy Father. In addition, our resource team did a great job. We put together two original resources, a smaller one, a pocket-sized one called The Challenge, which is designed for our middle schoolers, our edge kids. And that has about 70 quotes from John Paul II associated with a daily challenge. Here's a way you can live out this quote. Here's a way you can live out this theme that our Holy Father shared with us. And then a larger book called The Keys. Now this is for teenagers, but it's also for catechists, for adults. We took about 400 of his best pieces and broke them down into bite size where you can look at it, meditate upon it, contemplate on it. But then our team went a little bit further. We said, what if we broke these down even more? What if we broke them down into categories where there would be challenges associated with some of them? There would be acts of service associated with others. Some we set aside for journaling to really help develop that, that form of prayer and journaling. Some where you can go even deeper with the catechism and learn what the church teaches. Some that are just eminently shareable, tweetable, uh, Facebook postable, you know, so we, we found the ones that were just perfect size that you can use on social media to share the light of Christ through the eyes and through the heart of John Paul II. This is an exciting time for our church, and it's a great opportunity to pass along to the next generation the words and thoughts and heart of this great saint who revolutionized the 20th century. My brothers and my sisters, we are so excited and we really genuinely hope you take advantage of these resources. So much so that we've reduced their prices. You can buy them in bulk. You can hand them to your teens. You can hand them to the families in your church. You can hand them to your catechists. What a great treasure. What a great thing to be able to have, to be able to pass on this moment in history, to capture it and hand it on. That's what catechesis is, that handing on of the deposit of faith as we hand it on to the next generation. Because who knows, the next John Paul II could be sitting in your youth group. Crazier things have happened. All things are possible with God. May God bless you, and may John Paul II pray for us.